Hello all, welcome back to Technicate channel. There was a break in my video posting. Actually, I took a small break. I was preparing for a Google Cloud Certified Professional Architect exam and uh, I've completed with the um, status of pass, right? It is really uh, quite a lot of effort to put in to complete that. So today I'm going to today i come up with one of the interesting topic for any programmer basically what a program without an ua right yes i want to talk about a dashboard so anything any any program you write um, uh, without uh, the quite good dashboard the program is incomplete so you need a visually stunning live dashboard for especially for your data science if you are if you are into so that's where i'm going to introduce plotly dashboard which is a visually stunning live dashboard for python or julia f sharp and matlab any other programs so let me quickly run through what exactly the plotly dash what is dash it's 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 a return on top of plotly js and react js and it is ideal for data science projects but it doesn't stop there it doesn't limit you only for data science um, any any web service anything you have a real-time data that really it adds a lot of value with the dashboard so it's a it's a simple pattern it abstracts a lot of uh, low level details technologies protocols to build a uh, full stack web application and adding to that it's interactive data visualization and it's one of the simplest user interface and that can be built less than 10 minutes and this is rendered in a web browser it does not like um, any thick application or thin application something like a separate exe or python or plugin nothing like that it runs like a regular web application that can be installed on a container or it can be installed on a vm or just it can host it anywhere and just a given url and you can start using it so since it's on the web browser it's a cross platform so and also it's mobile ready you don't have to think of omni channel anymore and it's downloaded 600,000 times per month and it's uh, one of the original low code framework it's built for python or julia f sharp and matlab so how do we get install it's a simple one it's go ahead and pip install dash to get more details visit uh, https dash dot platy dot com so just to show you the glimpse of what it can do some of the dashboards right so you you will find all kinds of charting components be it a pie chart or be it a graph be it a line chart be it a bar area number or think of anything everything is available whichever you used with plotly you can use it as you can serve it through web that's one of the good feature of this particular framework okay so take a look at another chart it's these are all sample chart but just a glimpse you the you can it can fit any of your use case into this so today i'm going to show you another uh, one of the demo which i built using the plotly dash for one of the financial application for a stock market um, I'll I just I'll show you I'll walk you through the user interface yeah so uh, let's let me walk you through this application as I mentioned so this one contains sortable data table with uh, conditional formatting and also it's called uh, auto refreshing components and uh, you can sort based on a particular different components are different columns and also you can have a, a mouse over uh, components that's also dynamic and uh, for example I can sort over multiple attributes 
uh, based on the data uh, either a bit a string or number you you can do the natural sorting based on that and also it's got a uh, I can show you the donut chart so it's as I was saying um, the visually interactive as you move the data label moves very fast it's not like other chart the uh, also I can show you the bar chart rather than if somebody doesn't like a donut you can go there with a pie chart I mean sorry the bar graph right um, now this is another uh, sortable data table and the data is live again it's a conditional formatting it looks so colorful and also it's got a refreshing component every two minutes it refreshes okay so let me take you to the another one that's a live uh, chart plotting uh, component it, it takes a real-time data and plot the bar uh, candlestick and also this one is another complex chart it uh, compares with the previous data and it it, it plots accordingly so uh, along with that I have put uh, another component I mix with another component here as a bar chart so the above one is a HTML uh, component which underlying HTML component for that um, then the entire chart has a refreshing rate of five minutes and that can be reconfigured uh, dynamically with three minutes whatever we can say that just to go there and it takes that input okay so let's go to the another tab that's your um, stock screener again here also we have a lot of tables these are all uh, built based on um, the technical indicators and again it gives you conditional formatting the colorful one uh, it, there is a quite lot of technical indicators this is uh, this is one of the sample screener based on um, uh, the uh, technical indicators like uh, moving average and so many stuff right then um, I'll show you the another one this is uh, also another table however it's a live filter for example I would like to filter out something start with Tata so uh, look at the speed it just comes like the lightning fast right uh, the actually it is it's 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 filtered around more than 500 records glimpse of seconds and also for example here I put a uh, IT as another another filter condition here I'll put a uh, live filter condition greater than 4% whichever gain gr greater than 4% I should be able to pick just like that so this is the enhanced version of the data table with the multiple uh, technical indicator condition all that right the, 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 the idea here is to uh, show the component then also I used hyper HTML hyperlink component to jump around the multiple different tables so literally you can use any of the thing which you want to use it's basically a bootstrap components along with your HTML UI um, literally you can build everything so this application I am just showing as a an, uh, glimpse as I mentioned so in the next uh, the next part of this video I will uh, walk you through the code behind this entire application. Thank you.